Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at the latest Game Creator updates and their changes. But before we start, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. Game Creator received a big update in the form of 1.1.11, with the biggest changes undoubtedly being the new character model. This is the first time Game Creator changed its default model ever since it launched, a complete new fresh look. Well, take a good look at him because you won't see him again, as he's already been replaced with the familiar default model we had before. It was strange using Game Creator with a new different model, and personally I'm pretty glad that the previous model is back. The new model, while having a new look, had a completely different rig that was well, less than perfect, resulting in some annoyances with character attachments for example, and even some other things just didn't make a lot of sense. So personally I'm really glad he's back. Now let's have a look at all of the other changes that are present in these updates and we'll have a look at how to use them. So let's start off checking these changes with the new trigger options. So what I'm going to do here and before I do anything actually let's remove this character as we won't be using or seeing him again. So that's it. Back to our default character. Yes, I'm quite happy with it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's add a trigger here. And this is going to be a simple uh, on star trigger. And I'm going to change our time scale. So time scale. And I'm going to set this to 0 0.5. Now, when we hit play, what is going to happen is that basically we are, um, you know, in sort of slow motion, as you can see. So, yeah, you know, slow motion. And obviously slow motion is a game mechanic that is quite often used in games. Um, you know, your Max Paints, uh, well, plenty of them. Anyway, so yeah, popular mechanic and these new triggers actually have are related to this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select on key hold and this is the way it was by default and yes you will see time mode game here now and we didn't have this before um, but that's what it was by default now I'm going to be drawing my weapon here so draw a weapon revolver there we go let's make sure our player actually has the player shooter there we go. So if I would want to draw my weapon by um, holding the, oh, let's not do space bar, let's do left shift. There we go. By holding the left shift button for 0 0.5 seconds um, before actually drawing, in slow motion this would then actually take a second because we're having the time and hold time is 0 0.5. So I'd actually have to um, hold the button for a second now before it actually draws. And yeah, most likely the big chance you haven't noticed it if you don't play around with um, time mechanics in your game whatsoever, which will be the majority of players obvi users obviously. However, now we have this option which is unscaled and basically we still have that 0 0.5, but it's no longer tied to the game time. So now when we go into play mode, it will, despite time being halved, and I'm pressing space again, it will actually just take 0 0.5 seconds to draw that weapon instead of one second due to slow motion. So pretty big change actually, if you are using time related mechanics in your game, pretty important. Um, we have the same change with uh, on hover hold key, so the exact same change, just uh, a different input. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty important change, and I'm going to keep this here for the next change as well. Where was left shift? There we go. So we have another um, <laughs> have another change here. And this one uh, might be a, seem a bit strange, so now we have the option to change point and click movement input to none instead of left shift, uh, left mouse button, right middle. 
and this seems a bit strange it's something that I actually requested and I'm going to explain why as well so by default we had the option to change player is controllable and if I turn it on and we can remove our time scale now We can't control the player and you know so no movement and this is you know something you might use for example for cutscenes or well something like that but if I would hold the left shift now I can't actually draw my weapon either so it's not just that uh, we can't move our player we can't jump etc we can't actually um, use the shooter or melee module or anything like that either now if I would change this and select our new input method change it to point and click and then select none then I'd have pretty much the exact same results so you know can't move the player can't jump however I can still draw my weapon if I hold left shift and all of the other you know shooter melee um, inputs still function so yeah it seems like a, a, a bit unrelated to actual point and click movement um, it's a bit strange but it's something I requested myself and this is partially for uh, cutscenes for example so I had a cutscene where the player walks into the scene and then you know draws his weapon um, but it was a really simple and short cutscene so obviously I'm just you know using default actions here and I wanted to draw the weapon and this wasn't possible and that's something I wanted for the cutscene yes I could still change states for example but I couldn't actually you know have him draw his weapon now what I did for that moment is that I uh, just before drawing we have uh, you know I turned on player is controllable have him draw and then turn it back off again but that means there's actually a period of you know almost a second of the drawing animation where you could actually move him along a bit and you know obviously that's not great and that's just one example there's plenty of examples of where this can be used for um, but you know it's a uh, yeah seems a bit unrelated to uh, two point and click movement but you know I use point and click as an, uh, an option at first and I thought wow if I wouldn't have the uh, the input you know if I would have an option of no input this would actually solve my issue and that's why I requested this change so yeah it seems like a bit of a strange one but it's actually incredibly useful the name just doesn't suggest it as much so really useful change um, something that I'm sure a lot of people could actually use so yeah really nice we also have another new action which is stop all sounds and I'm just going to add it here um, let's just go to sound actually uh, audio and we have this new one so before we had stop music stop sound but we didn't have this and basically well it's really straightforward it just stops all sounds now why could this be useful well for example if you just want to have an option to mute a game uh, to mute all audio and on PC console you'll see this a lot less on mobile however this is incredibly useful as I do want that option to just click and there's no sound if I play something on mobile most of the time I will never have any audio so really useful um, small change I like the fade out option that's actually pretty cool um, but yeah you know simple action but again a really useful action and the next change I'm going to show and that's also you know the last real change I'm going to uh, discuss here as there's not all that much different a lot of fixes which is really useful so we have for example the on disable uh, trigger which didn't fire before so there were some issues that has been fixed so that's incredibly useful but you know not a change more of a fix but again really useful one but the next big changes here are in preferences and this is only for those people who are creating mobile games I have a mobile project myself 
and I'm uh, welcoming this change. Uh, I didn't notice it at first, didn't really pay attention to it in the change log. But yeah, this is a good change. So by default, touch stick mode was always continuous. And I think I can demonstrate when hitting uh, play with acceleration a bit, as this is not a mobile project, but just to show you a bit what it means. So with continuous, if you basically you light press, um, oh, I still have uh, controls turned off, so let's turn it off. So when we're hitting play mode, and if you just, you know, well, that's, uh, well, basically, those micro movements you see here. So I'm hardly pressing, just tiny bits, but you see the character move a bit without the animation. And with the touch stick, this is actually a lot more apparent. Um, well, touch stick for mobile, um, as you really need to, you know, push it uh, quite forward. So this was something you saw a lot more. And that was just how it was by default. Now, with this new option of discrete, you will no longer have this, as you will only move and transition to the full animations. Yes, there is still blending, luckily, so that's not going anywhere. But now we have the option to use discrete, and basically, you will only move, um, you know, at the right points. So you will only move when he really needs to start walking, and the model will only really move when he needs to start running. Yes, this still blends in between, but no more micro movements like we had before. And that was something you saw a lot more with mobile games with the touch stick. So again, small change, but a really, really welcome change. So, well, that's pretty much it. Normally I would have taken a lot more time to discuss the new model, but knowing that the new update would remove that new model didn't really seem worth this, you know, going spending too much time over it as it was only there for a couple of seconds as that model did change a lot but luckily we have the old one back so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one